Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser, here to answer the question, can you laser it? Today, I'm gonna find out if it's possible to consistently laser mark on the surface of a random selection of exotic stones, minerals, and gemstones with the laser. I purchased many different types of exotic flat and polished stone, gemstones, and minerals to get an idea of how these kinds of materials will perform when laser engraved. The first test will be a small, polished amethyst gemstone. Settings found to work on a Speedy 360 was 45 power, 50 speed at 500 ppi and 500 dpi. Testing produced a nice high contrast with great detail considering how small this stone was. Next up I will test some Unikite Jasper, a multicolor pattern mineral stone. Processing this kind of pattern in the stone with a laser produced a very inconsistent look in the engraving. To improve the contrast of this, it's easy to color fill polished stone and bring out the engraving. In this case, I will rub a small amount of oil-based art paint into the engraving so that the contrast will stand out. Now let's process some Labradorite. Labradorite is a fascinating material that displays an iridescent effect in the light. When engraved with the laser, it produced inconsistent results because of the variation of the colors. And because of this material has a lot of cracks in it, color fill was not an option. So this turned out to be a material that may not be a very viable option for laser processing. Now I'm going to process some onyx. Onyx is a silicate material found in many different colors. The contrast on this black onyx is the best I've ever seen for a natural material. In all my testing, black onyx produced the best quality and contrast out of any of the materials tested here, and was found to be an excellent material for laser processing. Next we have jade stone. Jade is an abnormal mineral that is typically green in color. Similar to onyx, jade produced outstanding contrast with very sharp results on the laser. However, it did take more power than most of the stones tested here at 100 power, 50 speed, at 500 ppi, 500 dpi. Nacre, also known as mother of pearl, is an organic, inorganic composite material produced by some mollusks in the inner shell layer. It is also the material of which pearls are composed. Testing produced a whitish laser mark with medium laser power. Though the contrast was not as high as the dark stones, it still produced a very nice look in my opinion. The last mineral tested is agate. Agate is a typical quartz-based rock formation that consists of many different looks and colors. Laser processing agate produced outstanding results, even on different colors and looks. But the darker colors did have better contrast. It was also consistent and large enough to engrave a photograph with good results, However, the photograph did require a bit less power than the black and white graphics. There we have it, several different natural gemstones, exotic stones, and minerals engraved with the laser. All produced a whitish response, and most work very well, showcasing that this kind of material is an excellent option to be laser processed. If you have something that you would like to see me try and laser, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. We'll see you next time.